here's how to beat Zhang Rang in Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. Now there's a trick to making this fight easier and it starts with calling in a second companion. Sun Jian is the one we want because he's of the metal phase and the boss is weak to that. And because of that, I recommend equipping Venomous Discharge, which only costs 5 points in metal to use, which is pretty low. This spell blocks a lot of the lightning spam that this boss arena is filled with. Okay, let's do it. At the start, turn to the left, lock on, and throw Venomous Discharge on the enemy there, and attack them. Lightning can be deflected, but try your best to stand in the poison or put it between you and the enemies for protection. If you can't, just run somewhere else and find a soul clone to throw more poison on. While you're in the poison, lightning can't hit you. That's one clone killed, so yeah, there's a bunch of clones and one real boss. Each clone gives the boss a buff. You can see the buffs under the boss's health bar. Once all the clones are gone, the boss is at its weakest. However, after the boss gets to half health, if all the clones are dead, it will resurrect them all again. We don't want that. The trick is to leave one clone alive for the whole fight, which prevents the boss from bringing them all back again. The boss is the one that doesn't have a health bar above its head, so only fight enemies with a health bar above their head for now. Here's the thing though, both of your companions must be dead before you get down to the last clone, otherwise they'll kill the clone and they'll wreck the whole strat. So don't go crazy and kill a bunch of clones yourself, just go slow and let the boss and the clones and your companions duke it out. That's the second clone I've killed. That's the third. And that's the fourth. Four is probably a bit too many to kill though, so I recommend two or three at most. Two would be safer, but basically you want your companions to thin the herd, but you want them to die before it gets down to one clone. It's okay to target the boss though while the clones kill the companions, so long as there are enough clones to overwhelm them, but to be safe just stay back as best you can and let the remaining enemies take care of business. I killed that clone which was maybe risky but with three enemies left I thought that would be okay. Now that the companions are out of the picture, take out all but one of the clones. With one clone left, it's time to fight the boss. The boss's moves are all deflectable. He only has one red critical attack, which is the same one the clones had, the rushy one. To deflect that, you kind of have to press deflect early rather than at the last moment, which is a bit different than usual red crit deflects. Whatever you do, don't hurt the clone. If it gets in the way, change position. If that clone dies, the boss will resurrect all the clones again. I can't stress that enough. Honestly, the boss doesn't have much to harm you with at this point. The real danger was the horde of clones. Now that they're gone, you can really just stand back and wait for the boss's red crit rush attack for you to do the most damage. In any case, if you've been struggling with this boss, that's the easiest way to handle it with the most consistency. Your build shouldn't matter too much either, but I'll show you mine now just in case you're interested to see it. I find the Unparalleled Spear's Whistling Vortex perk is great for closing the gap on enemies. I also have Negate Attribute Damage on Guard on my weapon as this blocks elemental attacks. If you mess up a deflect on one of the boss's lightning attacks but still block it, you won't take any damage if you have that perk on your weapon. I won't labour over the rest of my stats here as my build isn't that important for the strat in this fight and it's not fully optimised yet anyway, but I'll flick through each gear piece and you can pause if you're interested in having a closer look at them. For this boss, Venomous Discharge is really the most helpful thing and making sure you keep one clone alive for the entire fight. 
All right, I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.